Now, Suratul Qiyamah. Now, please remember that after these Suratul Muzammi, Suratul Mudassi, they are a pair. Now, till the end of Quran, all these surahs are in pairs. This grouping is three, three, the subgroup of three that has happened. But now all the surahs are in pairs. Al Qiyamah. Now, this surah is very unique in its style. It is as if, you know, there is an orator and he is delivering an oration. And the real, you know, essence of this surah is only comes out when you recite it as an orator. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. La uqsimu bihaad yawm al-qiyamah. Nay, I swear by the day of resurrection. You think it is impossible? I swear by it. It is going to come. وَلَا أُخْسِمُ بِالنَّفْسِ اللَّهُ وَعَمَا Nay, I swear by the self-reproaching soul within you, the conscience which bites you, when you do something wrong, there is something within you. You yourself say, my conscience is biting me. Don't you say? What is this conscience? This is a sign that you are responsible, you are accountable, and some reward will come to you. Some punishment will come to you. This is the proof of resurrection within you. وَفِي أَنفُسِكُمْ وَفَلَا تُبْسِرُونَ أَيَحْسَبُ الْإِنسَانُ أَلَّمْ نَجْمَ عِزَابَهُ Does man think that we will not be able to gather his bones when he is dead and disintegrated? بَلَا Why not? قَادِرِينَ عَلَىٰ أَنْ مُسَوِّيَ بَنَانَ We are fully capable of restoring his very fingertips. The real cause is that this man wants to continue evil. Go on sinning in this life, in front of him. He asks very haughtily, okay, when will this day of judgment come? Tell us if you are true. Faiza barik al basar. But when? The sight will be dazed by Khasaf al Qamar, and the moon will be eclipsed by Jumia Shamsu al Qamar, and the moon and the sun will be joined together. This moon will go into the sun. Yaqulu al Insanu Yawma Izin An al Mafar. That day, this man will say, Is there any place to run? Is there any place to hide? Kalla la Mazar. And it will be told, no, there is no place of refuge. إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ يَوْمَ إِذَنِ الْمُسْتَقَرُ There is only one place, and that is with your Lord. You have to go to Him. You have to stand before Him. يُنَبَّوْ الْإِنسَانُ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ بِمَا قَدَّمَ وَأَخْرَ And every human being will be told on that day what he sent before coming to that and what he left behind. These are the two aspects of human deeds. We are doing something good, bad, and we are sending it. It's going on continuously and being recorded over there till our death. But when we depart from here, we leave behind something, either good or bad. If you started some good institution, it is working after you. After you have gone, it is, it is working, benefiting people. You will get the credits. You will go on getting the credit. So this is akhar. Qaddama wa akhara. What he sent before and what he left behind. Balil insanu ala nafsahi basira. But actually, no man will need to be told what he has done. He himself knows where he stands. Every insan is an evidence against himself. He knows himself. Wala wal qama azira. Even though he is to put up his excuses and explanations and rationalization. But in the heart of his heart, he something says, you are telling a lie. You have quietened these people by giving explanations and rationalizing. I did this because of this and that was the reason, not this, not this was the intention. Okay, people are quietened. But still something in yourself, you are telling a lie.
And this is it. بَلِ الْإِنسَانُ عَلَىٰ نَفْسِهِ بَصِيرَةِ وَلَوْ وَلْقَى مَعَذِيرَةِ لَا تُحَرِّقْ بِهِ لِسَانَكَ لِتَعْجَلَ بِهِ O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Don't move your tongue hastily so as to remember this Qur'an hastily. إِنَّا عَلَيْنَا جَمْعَوْا وَقُرْآنَا It's our responsibility. We shall gather it in your chest or heart. It's upon us the collecting thereof and the reciting thereof. The sequence we shall fix. The sequence of revelation is different. The sequence of compilation is different. So we will give you the sequence of compilation. فَإِذَا قَرَانَهُ فَتَّبَيْ قُرَانَ And when we fix that sequence and recite, then follow you the reciting thereof. Then you have to follow that. Not of the sequence of the revelation. سُمَّ إِنَّا عَلَيْنَا بَيَانَ Then it's also upon us, our duty, to explain it. This explanation came in two ways, either in Quran itself. Something was revealed and then there were questions from the companions of the Prophet. Then Allah sent another ayah to explain that. Yes, Taftunak. Twice in Surah, Surah Nisa we have, yes, Taftunak. These people are asking you about that. So Allah makes it more clear. So this ayat. Either Quran or the Hadith of the Prophet كِتَابُونَ أَنزَلْ اللَّهُ إِلَيْكَ مُبَارَكًا The other ayah. لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ إِنَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَيْكَ الزِّكْرَ لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ We have sent this zikr for the humanity, for mankind, but on you, so that you explain it to the people. كَلَّا وَالْتُحِبُّونَ الْعَاجِلَةِ Nay, O people, O mankind, your real disease is that you love this life, which is ajila, which is present. The gain of this life, you feel palpable. The loss, palpable, you feel. You are only thinking about this life. You love this life. وَتَذَرُونَ الْآخِرَةِ And you have given away the hereafter. You never think about the hereafter. وَجُوهُنْ يَوْمَ اِذِنْ نَعْذِرَةً Many faces on that day of judgment, day of resurrection, will be fresh and radiant, shining. إِلَىٰ رَبِّهَا نَعْذِرَةً And they will be looking towards the Lord. May Allah include us among them. وَوَجُوهُنْ يَوْمَ اِذِنْ بَاسِرَةً And many faces on that day will be gloomy. تَذُمُّ وَنْ يُفْعَلَ بِهَا فَاقِرَةً And they will be thinking that now some back-breaking treatment will be done to them. Uh, we skipped a very important issue, which is discussed in Surah Al-Qiyamah, ayah number 18, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And actually, these ayat concern the issue of the compilation of Quran. As we know, the sequence of the revelation of the ayat and surahs of Qur'an is definite, definitely different from the sequence of compilation of this Qur'an. Now the question is, who compiled it? These ayat tell us, this compilation was done by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Himself. When He said, لَا تُحَرِّكْ بِهِ لِسَانَكَ لِتَعْجَلَ بِهِ Don't move your tongue. Hastily to remember this Quran. Inna alayna jamahu wa Qurana. We take responsibility. That number one, you will not forget it. We shall gather it in your heart or in your mind. And Qurana, the sequence of recitation, that is also upon us. We will tell you where to place this surah. A surah is being revealed now, where it should be placed among the surahs that have already been revealed. And فَإِذَا قَرَانَهُ فَتَّمَ قُرَانَ And we, when we fix this sequence of qiraat and recitation, then you have to follow the same sequence of qiraat. So there is the ahadith, you know, which tell that the Prophet ﷺ used to have a dora, a round of Qur'an, during this month of Ramadan, with Hazrat Jibreel ﷺ. 
he used to recite and Jibrail listened to, used to listen. And in that way, you know, the sequence was being fixed. And in the last Ramadan of the life of the Prophet ﷺ, it was repeated twice. So the compilation was completed within the lifetime of the Prophet ﷺ. Although in the form of a book, it was not present. It was compiled in the form of a book during the caliphate of Hazrat Abu Bakr But Quran had been compiled, the sequence had been fixed, and so many Huffas were there who had memorized the whole of Quran according to this sequence which we have today in Quran. And this is the sequence of Quran in the law e mahfuz in the kitab e maknoon This is there with the Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now we proceed. Because there was one scene, you know, which was shown. What will happen on the Day of Judgment? Wujuhun yawmayzin nazira. When the whole mankind will be standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala waiting for the judgment. Now on the faces of the people, the judgment will be there written on their faces. Just as we have, you know, in the, during the high school days, they are used to be declared, you know, result is going to be declared on 1st of March. And when the students were there, so everybody could see on the face who is going to fail and who is going to pass. So actually, before the announcement of the judgment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the people will know what is going to happen to us. Therefore, some of the faces will be very fresh, radiant, and they will be looking towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And some of the faces will be gloomy, and they will be fearing that now the treatment which will break their bone, backbone, is going to be done to them. Now the scene is of the death. That is the bigger Qiyamah, and this is the smaller Qiyamah of every person, individual person. When you die, as the Prophet has said, Mamata Fakad Qamat Qiyamatuhu. Who dies, his Qiyamah has come. Because now he cannot do anything. He cannot earn, you know, any good deeds. So what is, whatever he could earn, he had earned already. As if his Qiyamah has come. So a scene from that Qiyamah, when death comes. Kalla iza balagat taraki Hey. When the departing soul reaches the corner bone, you know, when it is all going out and reaches here. Waqilaman raq. And it is said, is there any soothsayer? Now the doctors have given, you know, they have said he's hopeless. They can't do anything. You can take your patient to your home. But is there any soothsayer, some sorcerer, someone who can save his life? Qilaman raq wazanna annahul firaq. And now that person himself has come to believe that now this is the departure. I have to leave this world, I am going. Well, tafat is saqo bisaq. In that, you know, the legs will come together and twist round each other. This is, you know, alam al naza When, you know, this life is being taken out, the soul is being taken out, it's a very hard time on human beings if you have seen people dying, you know. So, the legs will be twisting round each other. Ila rabbika yawma ijanni masaq. So on that day, you will be driven towards your Lord, and there is no other place to run away and to have any refuge. فَلَا صَدَّقَ وَلَا صَلَّى But he neither affirmed nor prayed. This is the condition of the chiefs of Quraysh. They listened to Muhammad Wasallam, but they didn't accept. فَلَا صَدَّقَ Neither they accepted that whatever you are saying is true and good, Wala Swalla. Nor were they ready to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On the contrary, Wala kin kazzaba wa ta'ala. But they belied and turned away. Summa zahaba ila ahlihi yatamatta. And then he went to his family arrogantly. Awla laka fa'ula. Woe to thee and woe to thee. Summa awla laka fa'ula. Again woe to thee. O man, woe. Ayahsabul insanu an yutra ka suda. Does man think that he is to be left wandering aimlessly, unrewarded? He will be left alone, no reward, no punishment. Alam yakunut fatam min mani yumna. Was it not a sperm drop which was emitted? 
summa kana alaqatan then he was a clot of blood according to the old translations but what i have come to understand a leech like structure hanging from the wall of the womb of the mother alaqa mu'allaq fa khalaqa fa sawwa then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created it and fashioned it and gave it the figure fa ja'ala minhu zawjain al zakara wal unsa and then he made of him two kinds the male and the female from the same sperm drop allah is making one a male child other a female child the whole system of body different psychologically different everything different alaysa zalika bi qadirin ala yuhyi al mauta is not that allah able to bring death to life if you could create you out of that is sperm drop can that allah not bring you back to to life after your death and here we must say bala ya rabbal alamin wa nahnu ala zalika min ash-shahidin why not o our lord and we testify to it that actually this will happen